right, so these have now been suitably sanded, scraped, and otherwise smoothed out. And it's time to put a finish on them. So to give them some color and, and make the grain pop or the figuring pop a little bit, I'm going to be using some Danish oil on these guys. Uh, of course, there are tons of options for finishing. This is just what I've chosen. So this one I'm going to go ahead, the one with the uh, routing in it, I'm going to go ahead and make that nice and dark. I'm going to use the dark walnut Danish oil. And this is walnut wood, so hopefully together they end up with a nice deep brown finish. So let's see what we get here. Here's your little before picture. And there's what we're going to end up with. So I'm going to go, uh, that's a little, a little wet yet. So it's going to look something like that. It's going to have a little bit of a sheen to it and I can go over it with a finish after as well. A top coat of some description if I want. I don't think I'm going to. We'll see. I'm just going to go over this thing. Just wipe that finish on and make sure it gets into all the cracks so I don't have any light spots. And by cracks I mean corners. Make sure it gets into all the corners. Alright. So that's looking really nice. Makes a big difference. All right, so I think that looks excellent. I'm going to just quickly put a little bit on the back too, just for the sake of protecting it a little bit. And we'll let that dry and see if it needs another wipe. Now I'm just going to find a nice clean section of this rag. I'm going to use Danish oil on this one as well, but I'm going to use a different color. Let's see what for now. This is a dark brown. I'm going to use the red mahogany Danish oil and see what we end up with. So again, there's your starting point. This one's a little more abstract, if you will. Just making sure it's nice and shaken. Let's see what we get from this. Now when you put this stuff on a lighter wood, there's a lot bigger difference between these two colors, but since we're putting them on a very dark wood to begin with, you're probably not going to notice much of a difference. Kind of like if you tried to stain ebony with a dark brown stain, it would stay black because it's ebony. You can't really use a transparent color to darken it. But yeah, let's see what we end up with here. That actually looks almost like it's a little bit darker. which is not what I had in mind, but I really like it. All right, guys, so these are looking pretty good now. They got a nice patina kind of sheen to them. They're both pretty dark. This one's slightly darker. I've decided to, uh, to just add a little bit more protection and kind of make sure that, well, a little more protection, a little more shine, and darken up the color just a touch more. I'm just going to add one light coat of wipe on poly. So what I've got here is exactly that, wipe on poly. You've seen me use it before if you watched my how to finish your guitar by hand um, video series rather. I oh, need more than that. It's kind of slow coming out, small hole on this. Anyway. This is going to darken it up just a touch, as gloss kind of always does, it's going to add to the contrast. So in this case, instead of adding to the contrast, it's just going to darken it. And I'm putting a very light coat on, so I'm not going to get a big glossy layer of this stuff on there. It's just going to be a light coat to protect it, seal it up, and darken it up slightly. And a coat like that is going to dry very, very quickly. Alright, so I think this is going to turn out really nice like this. Just 
slight little bit of poly on there. So once this is done, which will be right away here, I'm going to let it dry. Then I'm going to screw in my stand piece to this one. The other one I'm going to leave for now because I don't have another extra uh, guitar holder, if you will. I'm going to screw that in and then it'll be time to take the excess metal off the back. Alright, once you've got your hook through, we're on to what might be the simplest of all the steps. You simply cut, grind, or something the extra metal off. I'm going to cut it off with a hacksaw, a very small hacksaw, and then I'm going to sand it flat and put a quick coat of Danish oil on the back of this again, and that's it. So, time for the moment of truth here, I guess. Let's see if it holds a guitar. Looks good to me. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up so it'll be easier for other people to find. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the cool projects I got coming out. Also, a big shout out to Sovereign King, who does the vast majority of the music for my channel. Way better on guitar than I am. And to Troy from Noise Guitar Mods, I'll put the link in the description. The man is a great guitar tech, and he's taught me most of what I know about how the internals of these things work. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. See you next time.